Welcome back. Any day now, the cicadas are expected to come up out of the ground in huge numbers. They're already showing up in places south of Indianapolis, and it won't be long until we're seeing and hearing them here. While the insects are harmless to humans, you do want to be careful about letting your pets eat them. But we also hear different things about this, right? Dr. Jim DeCant from uh, Pet Wellness Clinic is with us this morning to talk about this. And uh, doctor, we were just talking during the break a little bit. It sounds like you don't need to be concerned about them. Uh, these bugs being poisonous or anything, but maybe you don't want your dog to gorge on them. That's right. Um, the cicadas aren't really, they don't have the mouth parts or the, sting. they don't sting, they don't bite. Um, their primary concern right now is to uh, mate and die, you know, and die. The, you know, they're not, unless your pet has some, you know, very uncommon allergic reaction to eating an insect shell, which wouldn't just be the cicadas. They should be fairly, you know, harmless to the pets. You know, if they eat one or two or probably even ten or so, probably wouldn't cause much of a problem other than digestive upset. If your pet go gorges on 50 to, you know, 100 of them, you could have a lot of digestive upset. But again, probably wouldn't be fatal, but certainly would be, um, you know, certainly could get messy. So. Is it just the, you know, the exoskeleton and the wings that are, are tougher for them to digest? Yeah, chitin is not a source. You know, the exoskeleton in the outer surfaces where these guys molt and leave those leave those exoskeletons out in the yard and the trees are not super digestible. Um, they can be digested in small quantities, but in, in large quantities, could you know certainly cause a fair amount of vomiting and diarrhea. I mean, and we we talk mostly about dogs, but you know, if you've got cats outside too, or I mean, are cats likely oh. to go after these? Cats are fairly, most of them are fairly picky. I mean, they might play with them. Uh, you know, unless you have a cat who's pretty, you know, who's kind of gluttonous and pretty much would eat anything, most cats, I would say, probably wouldn't eat very many of these and, poor, you know, more likely would bring them to you and set them down as a prize that they caught. But, you know, it's certainly possible, but probably most cats aren't really that type, you know, don't really have that type of appetite. Amber says she's heard that they taste like asparagus. I, I don't know uh, what can be confirmed on that or if you're even familiar. I, you know, I've never actually eaten one, but you know, <laughs> sounds like something some Bear Grylls might do on his show. So. Yeah, I've heard they are very high in protein. I, I, I'm not likely to eat one, but, you know, I'll take someone's word for it on that. I mean, it sounds like in general you just you want to keep your eye on your pet. Uh, and, and, and certainly if they start seeming like they're having a problem with their stomach, maybe you've got a, a prime suspect there. Yeah. If, if you have a yard that's been around for a while, I mean, and, you know, meaning that a house that's maybe over 20, 25 years old, have lots of trees in your yard, you'll probably see some of these guys. If you have a very new house and a new subdivision with uh, fairly young trees or no trees at all, you may not see them at all. Like I said, you, you'll know if there's a lot of them in your yard, I'm sure you'll notice the sound um, these guys make at night while they're calling to each other. And then also those shells are fairly noticeable. So you'll, you, you won't have to wonder, I would well, I imagine, too, you don't necessarily want to hesitate to, to call a vet if you're concerned, uh, but is there any uh, real uh, obvious sign that y you know we need to check in with an expert here? You know, if your pet's having some vomiting or diarrhea or inappetence um, after they've been out wandering around the yard and you've noticed those, certainly you want to call your veterinarian and, and have him looked at. We've got lot, you know, lots of things. You know, treating standard dietary indiscretion right, where the pets are eating things they shouldn't have usually isn't mm -hmm. too involved, but certainly we can make them feel better. All right, doctor, thanks so much for your insight here this morning, and hopefully, uh, you know, we won't hear about too many problems with all of this. Absolutely. All right, thanks. Have a great rest of the weekend. Thanks for having me. If you'd, like, week. if you'd like more information on pet wellness clinics, you can go to fox59.com slash links. Amber, I'll leave it to you to confirm how they taste. I I'm going to rely on you. I'm not going to confirm it. I just heard it. That's, that's what I heard. That's what Amber said. <laughs> I'm going to just believe them. <laughs> if you've been putting off getting your dog,